Hi guys, um, if you watch the video then you've probably just received your printer. Congratulations. Now let's take you through all the small steps you need to take in the RIP software uh, to get things working. Now once you've installed your uh, software, your Acro RIP 8.2.3, uh, you'll have two icons, uh, colour and white. Now just click on white because it's the colour version with white, so just use this one okay now I'm recording this video during the transition between two table sizes the old table size is 300 by 430 the new table size is 300 by 470 <coughs> not a lot of difference but it does make a lot of difference to the uh, settings on on macro rip so if you've got the new uh, 300 by 470 table uh, you'll have to contact me for the new settings uh, especially um, the page margin setup settings which on the old table size is 13.5 by 35 and uh, I haven't yet worked it out on the new table size so contact me about these settings um, when you've got the new table size okay uh, well I might as well have left that open because uh, that's one of the first settings you need to change uh, as soon as you uh, open your RIP software you'll have just a blank table <coughs> and a blank area where your files will be populated. Uh, first of all go to file page margin setup and on the old table size it's 13.5 by 35 that's assuming you've got millimeters set that takes me on to the second setting which is the unit which I set to millimeters uh, you can have inches or centimeters it's up to you what you choose um, I'll go with millimeters Okay, uh, along the bottom here you've got four tabs, you've got layout, printer, colour and white. Now on the layout tab at the top you need to change your uh, paper size, which is your platen size, to 300 by 430 on the old table size. If you've got the new table size that's got to be 470. So I'll do this at 430 at the moment. Now don't worry about these. Uh, because these are just the image attributes for when you load the image which I'll show you in a moment over to the printer you need to set the printer at the top to the R2000 port to the actual printer you're using so this will be the R2000 uh, check paper size off resolution 1440 by 1440 Colour 1440 by 1440. Uh, you may find that when you're doing uh, white printing, you might want to add, uh, increase this to say 280 by 1440. Uh, it makes it a bit slower, but if you're having trouble with your white ink output, then that's the setting you need. Uh, but because we're only doing colour now, I'll keep that at 1440. Right, these are standard change that to large dot size, again doing white ink later so uh, just keep that to large dot size for now ok onto the colour tab this is the original Epson configuration, we're not doing that anymore we want YMCK and white 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 now ink limit, this is your ink output this is how much ink is coming out of the head when you're printing uh, for the average t-shirt you're looking at around 55% that's on a single pass. So if you're doing one pass, uh, 55 or 60 percent would do you uh, <coughs> do you a good coverage and a good saturation. Now some people like to do two two passes, maybe two at 30 percent, or one at 40 percent, and then a second pass at 20 percent to dust over it. It's up to your preference. Uh, everyone's got their own preference. Find what's good for you and good for your t-shirt, of course because all t-shirts are different, they all absorb ink differently and on to uh, white, well I'm not going to do this now um, this is quite self-explanatory uh, you can play around with this, there's no risk uh, later on, or watch my video later on where I go over the white settings uh, when you're ready to print, you go to the printer tab and you hit the printer icon at the top now we can't do that yet because we haven't got an image loaded so to load an image, all you do is open up your image folder and I will have Sonic. Just drag it into the window.
when you're ready. It's quite a large image this is, 3 megabytes. It's taking a to uh, process. Here we are. Right, as you can see it's quite a large sonic. Uh, when you drag your image into the area, uh, you'll see that it's uh, placed down the bottom. If we put another image in, it will come up next to it. And you keep putting images in, you'll just have hundreds of images uh, all populated down the bottom here that you can uh, that you can choose from. Just click on them and they'll appear. One thing you can't do is have two images in one one grid, uh, which is a shame because I've tried that before. Um, now, when you drag your images in, the size that it outputs as is the actual size of the image. So you may think an image is very large, but drag it in and it appears very small. Or you think an image is very small, you drag it in and it's actually very large. Uh, I'm not really a graphics person to be honest, I don't know why this is, it's something to do with DPI. Um, but in this case, Sonic's a 3 meg file, I know it's going to be big and it's going to be big, but too big for my plan. So I'll click on the layout tab and you'll see the original size is 564mm by 479mm. Um, now in the output, uh, so that was the original size, now the output size here is what we want it to actually be. So I'll just reduce that to 200. Uh, now notice that the proportion has calculated itself uh, to be even, that's because we've got equal proportion is true here. If we change that to false we can then skew it around. Uh, I don't want to do that, and keep it as true. Now you can drag this to the centre of the platen. Um, your neckline is here at the end of the platen. So as a general rule, if you print it on t-shirts, you want it about 50 or 60 mil down. So that will be about, about here. Now once you've dragged it to the correct height, you can right click and go to justify and horizontal centre. Uh, that will get you perfectly centred on the platen. Okay, well this is the point where you're ready to print. Uh, you've got all your settings correct. Uh, make sure your head height is adjusted correctly. Uh, I don't want you to go and smash your head after after doing this. That would be a real shame. Uh, but now you can click the print icon at the top in the printer tab. And right, this is your white box, which we're not going to go into at the moment. But make sure it's zero, because we're not doing any white layer at the moment. This is your colour setting box put it as one because we're doing one copy in colour. Okay and I hit print and that will send to the printer and uh, it will print. Okay now the next video I'll do will be about white ink printing. Okay.